Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. In today's reading, I'm just going to surrender fully into spirit because I feel spirit wants to bring through different messages here. So I don't have a specific question. I'm just going to allow whatever wants to come through here to come through. So this, it can play out different for all the piles here. It can be that it's one scenario, one storyline, or that it's different messages in one pile. Let's see. Spirits lead here. So if you are interested in that, if you are interested what spirit wants to share with you in this moment, then I will see you in your reading. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile one, I have a message for you. For you, pile one, there is something here that is moving um, without a purpose, in a sense, or without direction. And there is a specific guardian that wants to speak with you, wants to communicate with you about this about this moving without direction here and it's like moving without direction it's it's in a sense also it's moving quite fast it's like spinning in in different directions but without knowing where it goes where you go um let me see I get some waterfalls also here, which is in here. It's it's like something really wants to flow to a specific point. And you are also being asked here to to collect your energy in a sense because it feels like. If it's you, this spinning without direction, it's your energy feels very scattered here in a sense. And you are being invited to, to collect everything of yourself and to center that. And what, with these waterfalls, it's, there is also an invitation in here of be if you can be among a waterfall of, or if there is a certain waterfall that is a specific place for you that has a waterfall or an image that you have of a waterfall, there is this guardian that is connected with that. And I feel this guardian here, I pulled one card already, which is the guardians. And I feel this guardian here is different for, for each and every one. And for some there is a specific person also that wants to come through here. This is someone, someone who has passed over not so long ago. This is a quite recent transition. And there is something connected with a waterfall also here. Yeah, we have marriage here and romance. So a love relationship, a love connection relationship again. For whomever this is, there is a, a, someone you had a love relationship with or a marriage a husband or a wife that has recently transitioned. And they want to communicate with you. They want to speak with you. 
And again, there is this waterfall. Maybe this was a speci special place for you both or something. Um, but you are being called to go to that place or to go into the memory of that place or to go into the experience of that place with your husband, with your wife, with whomever this is. I'm speaking or and or. But there is a very strong connection here between water and some some guard, some guardian here that wants to communicate with you. And again, there is this there is a need to let something flow into one direction to to direct. The flow, the focus, the energy, the bring the scatteredness, bring that back to center, and from there, um, choose one point. I cannot put it better here, but it's really one specific direction is needed. It's a very clear message in that sense, whatever that may mean. And there is, for some, there is a lot of different ideas also with these scattered energies, a lot of different possibilities in your mind space or specifically in your life. Um, and whomever this guardian is, if it's a past over loved one or if it's, if it's one of your guides, they want to communicate with you about a certain mission a certain direction where you have to go and this is about opening up a new pathway this is about you being the front runner of something being the an explorer a pioneer and a front runner in something so this is something new this is something where you are supposed to open up a pathway for others and you are the first or one of the first to do that and your guardians want to speak with you about that to focus 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 and receive i hear focus and receive So whomever this is, even though it's a passed over loved one, what I mainly feel in here is also this, they might come through also to, to bring you some messages of comfort to with this invitation of connect with me because I'm near, I'm, I'm with you, just in a different form. But they also, this is a message for all, they also want to speak to you about something new here, some new adventure, a new road, a new pathway, something new that you are, you are already busy with that. Or maybe it's not clear yet, but you have some inklings or it's not new completely, but there is no clarity yet. And this is also why this guardian really wants to connect with you. And there is a strong invitation in here to connect with water for this. Specifically, waterfall. You are also, there is a message for some, some here that you are losing energy. Um, energy is leaking out. Again, this, these scattered energies, 
energy is leaking out and, and it has to be contained in a sense. Energy is leaking out into places, people, circumstances that where your energy is not supposed to be now. And you are being invited here to, to be aware of that and to, to adjust your choices according also. Let me see here, what is this? These new pathways. What is this about? There are very strong mandalas also coming through here. And I also hear, while I, I notice the mandala and I feel the message in there, I get directly the mandala effect. Ten of Cups. Temperance. And the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is here that new, this, this, this pioneer, this new mission that you are supposed to, to step in, to, to, to take that road. Let me clarify this here. You are also really been invited here to trust in your own guidance, to trust in your inner wisdom, to trust in your intuition. To trust in the guidance that is coming through here. White Temperance and Ten of Cups. For some this is, again with this, this relationship, a recent passed over loved one that also wants to come through with this message of there is an invitation here to connect to connect with your passed over loved one in their new form which brings healing to your overall well-being to your overall feeling of happiness. What is also in here, this is a specific message, so it's not for all, but what is also in here, going back here to this past over loved one, they really want to connect with you. Again, this waterfall, this specific place, which can be in your mind's eye. It can be the exact place where you go to or where you, which you just envision. And... The veil is getting thinner and thinner, so it's it's possible for some that you will really, even though your past over loved one has transitioned into a different form, there is an ability to to interact with each other in a way that is new for you also. And the invitation in here is to be open, to just be open. 
just be open to what wants to come through here. Everything is possible. The hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse here comes through as some kind of victimhood, victimhood mentality, victim mentality, victimhood mentality. And I'm coming back here to this scattered energy for whomever feels in this or notices themselves in this victimhood mentality. Also there you are being asked to, to bring back, to collect your energy into your center and to be in your center to be there fully be there and to to understand also that the victimhood mentality that it doesn't work so to do something different if you are being triggered by circumstances in your victimhood mentality, understand that a problem cannot be solved from the same level that it is, that it is created. So also here you are being invited to be a pioneer, to do something different, to take a different road. Take a different road of thought, take a different road of action, take a different road of perception, take a different road of choice. Do something different when you feel triggered in your victimhood mentality. You can choose to dwell in there, but it's not going to solve anything. And the circumstance is the circumstance, the best thing what you can do with any circumstance that is unpleasant is to accept, to accept it for what it is and from there see what you can do. If you go into victimhood mentality, you go into a low, very low frequency. And to solve something from out of that state of mind doesn't lead you to the best solutions. So accept. Accept where you are and then open yourself up to the pioneer within yourself. Because the fact that it comes through like this here also feels like also connected with your guardians. It's like whatever situation you are in, your guardians want to remind you here or this specific guardian wants to remind you here on um, on your own qualities, your own talents, and your own ability to clear a new pathway. It is within you. And especially according this, do something different. Again, the problem cannot be solved from the same level as, as it is created, as it has been created. There is a balance here that wants to come through that has a, a direct effect on your ability to, to feel happy, to experience happiness. Your overall well-being, your overall your overall feeling of happiness. And it's funny how it comes through, no? Happiness. It's When it comes through, it's like, it's so simple. So also that, it's like, you are making things too difficult. 
with and this is also connected with the scattered energy if your energy is scattered meaning not centered if your energy is scattered your consciousness is also scattered so your consciousness is in all these places and then how it comes through here this happiness it's bring that in bring that back into center collect all these pieces of you which also means that you collect and bring your consciousness into one centered point and then from there everything is a lot more simple everything you perceive everything also a lot more simple again if there is a lot around you and your consciousness is everywhere it feels like a lot but if you are here and you look from here to everything around you it's a lot more organized it's a lot more clear and if you then also connect to God's or spirit, to something higher than yourself, to your guidance, and then from there, open up for new solutions. New solutions to interact with everything that is here. There is something else here with this new pathways. Your guardians want to speak or guardian, this specific guardian want to speak to you about a certain mission that you are on. I'm looking at the clock. 2111. Triple eleven. New pathways. 111 manifestation gateway this number keeps on coming back or keeps on catching my attention it's something big something new here wants to open up and i feel again i feel this is in so many different directions new ways of thinking new, new ways of acting new ways of perceiving new ways of being in general here and your guards guardians guides really want to communicate with you about that but about that but for that to happen in the best possible way asks from you to be centered collect your energy Get out of victimhood mentality. Do your utmost best to get out of victimhood mentality. You are not a victim. Only if you choose so. No matter your circumstances, you are not a victim. Only if you choose so. This is within your own choice. So you are being asked asked to collect your energy, to center and to receive, focus and receive again here, focus and receive. For some, there is the dragon spirit coming through also. So if you have a specific dragon that you connect to, this guardian wants to speak with you. Or this guardian in the, in the form of a dragon. This guardian with dragon spirit wants to communicate with you
focus. That is such a big message here. Focus. What I also feel in here is that some kind of new mission that you are supposed to step into that also involves the the focusing of energy bringing energy together into one concentrated point and then from there focus that concentrated point into a focused goal also so also an an activation an opening up a remembrance into how to work with focused energy And this is something new, but it's also not new. But it is new, but it's not new. And I mean with that, it's a new way of using this in this in this lifetime. It's a new. It's something new. But when you do this, it doesn't feel like something new because it's not the first time that you are using this. It's a remembrance. Something coming online here about that also. What else is here? This one, not this one. You might also get some kind of specific idea, some kind of specific vision, some kind of feeling, some kind of inkling, inspiration, maybe I said that already, about doing something, about focusing something, laser focus I even see and feel in here, which can be literal in here, doesn't have to be can also be very symbolic. But for sure, for you, Pile 1, the big message here for you is focus. Focus. Focus and receive. Sensitivity. This is really about um, a contact communicate communion contact with a being from other dimensions or a being in other dimensions then incarnated in a human form. This is about this. And again it can go always. Pass over loved one or another being which is a guard of you. In all cases also this passed over loved one has a mission of guiding you and guarding you also. And there is contact wants to be made here. Specifically contact. 
and in that contact this can go all ways for for each and every one but in that contact a lot um, can be transferred whatever is um, whatever is important for you or whatever is needed in that contact for you whatever is written in that contact for you and that sensitivity here again this is this is again this open up focus and receive focus and receive it's bring in your to put all this together bring in any scattered energies if it's not scattered still focus on centering yourself within you breathe in there be in there be centered within yourself from there open which is the receive receptive be sensitive feel listen ask communicate and be sensitive meaning be open for something new be open for new ways of contact with the other realms new ways of thinking for yourself new ways of perceiving for yourself new ways of acting for yourself specifically here if you are in victimhood mentality if you are in a place where you are identified with emotions from a lower frequency emotions in general open up to a new way open up to lift yourself out of there and then come into this center and in this center invite your guidance in and there receive What else is here? There is really an invitation in here to try to don't judge whatever comes comes through. Try to don't um, analyze this with your logic mind. Just be open, because whatever is here, it's it's pioneer. It's something new, and for that, you have to put your judgments aside and just be open. What I get with this is certain codes coming through this water, again through the waterfall, sitting on a waterfall, visualizing a waterfall. Um, sitting there physically or sitting there in your mind's eye, certain codes that are being transferred from the water to you. language that is being transferred through the water from the water to you messages all kinds of messages in all different kinds of forms different kind of forms
33. With peaks of joy, this card keeps on keeps on showing up. So coming back here to this temperance and this ten of cups, whatever this is, whatever this encounter is, there is an encounter that wants to happen here. That's what I feel also in the contact. There is an encounter that wants to happen here. And this can go in all directions, whatever that means for you. But this encounter is embedded in joy and in happiness. Simple. Simple joy, simple happiness. Which doesn't mean it's from a low frequency. Joy, capital G, joy, isn't. It's a God's feeling. If you are in joy, you are in the presence of God. And it's simple. When you are in the presence of God, connected to God, Source, Spirit, when you are home, Everything is simple. It's the human mind that makes everything complicated. So when this comes through here, this simple joy, simple happiness, it means simple, capital S. Where everything is clear. Where everything is clear, just clear. Not this scattered consciousness, scattered energies, scattered thoughts, feelings. Just focus. That's your message, by one. The main message here. Focus and receive. Okay, my dear beautiful pile one, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile two, I have a message for you. For you, Pile 2, Spirit wants to speak to you about a certain wish. Uh, a wish you have and Spirit wants to bring you to start off this reading with your wishes are being granted or your wish is being granted in a way that it's... This is something that you are wishing for. This is something that you don't see a way out. Or you don't see how this can happen. But it's going to happen. And it's you're going to be very surprised about how all of this is coming together here. I very strongly feel in here a sense of home. So... This can go very wide. This can be specifically about a certain home, a certain home base, a house, um, moving into a different house. But also this, what is behind it is that it's really the feeling of coming home or being home somewhere, being home within, being home with others. But the home is very central here. It's very significant here and it's very highlighted in here also. So a certain wish about a home, whatever that means for you. And the first message in here, your wish is being granted. But it's going to happen in a way that you cannot imagine. It's going to fall into place in, in a very miraculous way for you. 
and you're gonna be in awe you're gonna be in wonder you're gonna be in amazement you're gonna be astounded by this There is a male also, a masculine energy also that is very present in here. And it's a masculine energy that feels young in a sense, young and joyful, very light-hearted also. This might be you, although I feel for most of you this is someone else here that is involved in this wish being granted. And I also feel the message in here for some to be aware whenever you have an encounter with a, a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a male, a gender-wise. Just a masculine energy that feels very joyful and feels very light-hearted. Because this uh, person can also bring you a certain message or link you to someone, link you to somewhere, um, offer you something. Although I feel this, it's like a, a peon here in, the, in, in how this wish is going to be granted. But there is the message in here of be aware when you have an encounter with this person or with someone who carries this energy. Very light-hearted here. This wish also, the, the main energy that is in here is this homecoming. But it also falls, this one also falls under there. There is another message in here of if this wish involves something within yourself, something that you are trying to, to turn around within yourself, some kind of behavior or a bad habit that you, an addiction um, that you are trying to work through, a certain way of thinking that you are trying to work through. Um, it can also be something like that. And then this homecoming is, if it is something within you, then if you work through that, your wish being granted, which also involves your own choices, your own um, interaction, your own responsibilities in, in there. And then it also leads to more of coming home within yourself. But spirit is very strongly, um, spirit, your team, the divine, is very active in this specific wish of yours. And wants to surprise you. Wants to surprise you and offer you stars in your eyes. I can see this, there is a lot of different um, words coming through here with the vision of seeing the stars in the eyes. I can see the eyes with the stars in there, um, smiling eyes, uh, bright eyes. Which might also be a message for some, the song. Bright eyes burning like fire. I have no idea from whom this is. Um, what else is in here? There is a lot of wonder in here also. Yeah, the bright eyes, stars in your eyes. Um, being in awe, this.
there is a lot of gratitude also in here and there is a lot of there is a big surprise element in here and this might come what is this Yeah, this young energy that is coming through again. Again, this masculine young energy. But for some, this, this masculine young energy is also... The energy of the person, it's, it's specifically a person. The energy of this person that is coming through is, like I say, it's very light-hearted. Uh, it's very joyful, um, very bright. Um, so the intention of this person feels like it's coming from the right place but there might be something involved with this situation also which was a situation or is a situation that feels like something tough to work through. So, how it comes through here is that spirit is working on some kind of wish of yours and in a sense this comes together with, with a difficult situation. Or you are now in a difficult situation. Or this wish is breaking, is allowing you to break through this difficult situation. Or there might, might also just be something, some small thing that happens, which is um, like a misunderstanding or something or a small conflict which then links you to this young person, this young masculine energy, but there is some kind of um, difficult situation also involved in all of this. And I also hear in here the blessing in disguise. And it might also be for some that this is a, a sign, like something shows up, and it's just an issue to deal with, a small issue to deal with. But then because of that issue, maybe you are delayed by something or, or something, a conflict, a misunderstanding, which, which redirects you in a sense. It's a blessing in disguise. And you are also, Spirit is bringing through this message also for you to, to recognize that the wish, the granting of the wish is, is there. And also to don't get too involved in whatever misunderstanding or whatever small conflict that is happening here. But also as an extra message, like I said before, to be aware of this young masculine energy. So also this, if there is some kind of misunderstanding, some kind of small conflict, some kind of small difficulty, then also be aware because there is a young masculine energy that might show up within there also, within that situation, connected to that situation which then leads to something. There is like a line, it's like a, a, a line of events that are happening here. And this is the, the bigger picture of the wish being granted. It's like all the dots are connecting with each other here. And also that in the, when it's completely granted and you put all the dots together, 
you would have never been able to make it up in that way. It's a perfect design, what is happening here. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups here is because I'm I'm getting again the, the stars in the eyes, which carry such a beautiful vibration here. And then we get the Ace of Cups, which is which is so much in sync with the stars in the eyes, something beautiful very very new is heading your way and it's done it's done some guidance in here is don't get too caught up in in whatever small difficulty or whatever small misunderstanding or conflict that is happening here but do your utmost best to see beyond and to to understand that it's it's happening wow ace of cups ace of pentacles double ace guys this is beautiful six of swords moving out of moving into calmer waters moving away from conflict again it's there it's and i again i get this young masculine energy that is moving you out of a certain conflict here that is move that is helping you connecting that dot from one place to another from out of a conflict which might also be just the conflict that you that you run on run into on the street or something that happens which doesn't involve you personally but you see it happen or you get in the middle of something which doesn't have anything to do with you it's a possibility it can also have something to do with you but it feels so small in here and then this young person that is like coming through and moving you in this six of swords energy into into the next point connecting you to the next dot the hierophant is also showing up here and again there is this very strong feeling of this is something very beautifully divinely orchestrated here Ascended Masters also coming through here. If there are specific Ascended Masters that you feel connected to, If there are specific Ascended Masters that you feel connected to, they are also inviting you to, to connect, to communicate, to commune, to receive, to receive their wisdom. I get here Jesus. I get the Buddha. And I get Yogananda here, which might be significant for someone, some. Two of Cups, wow, such beautiful cards. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Hierophant, Two of Cups, which is union, divine union with you, 
but in this can also be a relationship whatever your wish is this homecoming in the two of cups there is also really this this deep feeling of coming home coming into union with whatever the wit is this is a beautiful divine union with you and your wish And again, I keep on seeing this, this beautiful, beautiful, sparkle eyes. One more here. And the Emperor. Mm, strong energy here with the emperor and the six of wands beautiful energy pile too very beautiful energy this emperor there is also a lot in here there is this feeling of being in control again where you were out of control having the feeling that you that you can make choices that you were unable to make before. You have the feeling that you are on top of your game. You have the feeling that you are ruling your, your, your empire, not from a place of ego. This is not from a place of ego, really not. But just this being in control again. And also it's coming out next of the, next of the two of cups. Also this being in union with your your authentic your authenticity but also your authentic place your authentic um, place to be within without and ruling your empire in a way that that feels very comfortable very comfortable there is also the deer that is coming through here, which is again this it's so connected with the energy of the two of cups it's the it's the union of the of the divine masculine with the divine feminine it's it's a beautiful balance it's the energy of the heart you you start with the ace of cups you also have the two of cups here this is the deer the spirit of deer speaks of love love capital l love which is divine love it's unconditional love and this is running through your reading it's a very very beautiful energy six of wands is also here which is victory it's success it's being seen it's being recognized it's also you here seeing with this beautiful sparkling eyes of yours the stars in your eyes. It's you seeing your wish being granted. Whatever that may be. But it's here. It's happening. So stay open. Stay aware. And go with this flow that is here for you. Allow the dots to connect and move with every connecting dot in here. Okay, my dear beautiful pile two, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light. Lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile three, I have a message for you. And for you, pile three, I pull the rune and a card for you also. I also get a vision. <clears throat> the vision is 
fractals of light and the main message that comes through with this is light codes. What I also feel with this is you might experience in this time a lot of headache, um, dizziness, um, sensitivity to light, but there is a lot happening in your crown chakra here. In your crown, in your third eye. And light codes that are downloading, that are activating within you, that are activating you, that are downloading in you. We also have here the Hagalas with the guy on awakening. And Hagalas is it's the tower energy, it's Uranus, the great awakener. With the Gaia and awakening here, this is all of this together here feels like something is disrupting. 2311, it's, uh, it's 511, change. Change, this is also Hagalas, change, freedom, liberation, invention. Um, this is a, an urge within you that wants to break free from some restriction. And it's a strong energy. It's a really strong energy, but it's coming from within here. And... There is an energy here coming from within that wants to break free, but this is being met by the universe. This is being met by the divine, by your guidance. And you are being given a, disrup a disruption in your outside reality also, which might feel a little bit chaotic, but this is completely in sync with this need that is within you of breaking free of something. And if you are able to see this from the right perspective and you can embrace this as an opportunity, as a blessing in disguise, because that is really what it is here. Something is disrupting you and it's very possible that you will have to relocate for this. Something happens, you have to move. And I really feel for most of you, this can be an inner job also, an inner experience, um, that you relocate within yourself to a different state of being, different consciousness. But for most of you, I also feel near this external relocation. So something that forces you, in a sense, to relocate, to move, to go somewhere. And again, this is really a blessing in disguise, because where you are being moved to, where you are being relocated to, is exactly where you need to be. There is also a very strong connection. The guy in awakening is also here. There is a very strong connection here with specific locations and where you are now in your consciousness, in your process of waking up, in your mission, in your path. There is a reason why you are being relocated. And if it comes through in such a forceful way, it... It depends. Depends how big your prayer was. Depends how you put your prayer. Depends how you are as a as an individual. How you function. But for some, this is also not having listened to the whispers that were already there that told you to relocate. Not for all, but for some, I also have to put that in between. And then universe life steps in between and disrupt your life to force you, in a sense, to relocate. But again, this is not for all. This is for some. So for most of you, there is just something is happening and it, it 
it feels as a disruption. It can feel as a disruption, but if you are able to look through it, it's really a big blessing in disguise. Because, again, where this is moving you, inside or outside, it's exactly where you need to be. It's exactly in line with where you have to be. And then again, this vision, these light codes, these downloads that are happening here. There is also something we have. There are sacred sites. But in the end, we should not put too much importance in the sites. Because it's all happening within in the first place in the first place as within so without but still the relocation here the the actual location on the planet has a specific frequency has a certain importance um and is helping the process that you are going through right now so it's helping with this awakening process and the need also that that was there that is there something within you really wants to break free and what is happening here that seems to coming that seems to come from outside is helping you with that sacred sites yeah there is something specific also the gate also here something specific <clears throat> with the location again sacred sites it's like god is is god source spirit is grabbing you in a sense with love with care always but grabbing you from one place and and placing you somewhere else the gate is here also and this new place this 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 new place where you are being moved into within or without is a gateway it's the process that you are going through right now flows in the sp in the place where you are being moved to moved into where you are now it's also happening but there is there is more resistance in a sense to the flow that wants to move through you here So, yeah, this is, it's just, it's exactly where you need to be. It's exactly, it's exactly where you need to be for, for what you are going through right now. It's very supportive to be where this disruption is leading you. So pile three, do your utmost best to embrace whatever is happening here and to keep your eyes, keep your perspective on the, on the opportunity in here, on the fact that it is a blessing and that you are being helped with this. There is an acceleration also that is coming through with this. And again, where you are right now, the location within, without, is it's also happening. But the tempo is not, it's not in sync in a sense. So you need, 
your soul needs this disruption and then acceleration. So surrender. Big message also here for you, especially with Hagalas and with this guy in awakening. Surrender to that because, again, it's a blessing in disguise and you are being very much supported in here. And then again, it's leading into acceleration, rebirth. It feels big. And the sun, beautiful, very beautiful energy. Rebirth and the sun with the gateway. So at first, from a, a certain perspective, this can feel like something bad, something negative, something unpleasant. But it's it's not, it's really not. Let me get a little bit... Um, let me see, let me look in here, what, what is this disruption here? I hear you asked for it. So, again, your prayer. The Magician and Temperance. Again, two majors also. This feels big. This really feels big. This is a big, a big shift, a big change and a big liberation also, a big sense of freedom that is in here. And I keep on saying big, big, big. It is big also. Let me get one more here. With the magician coming through also and the hermit, another major. With the, uh, these are major themes also. It's the major arcana and it also feels like that. The magician is here with temperance, which is a, it's a healing. It's something that's been, that's been rebalanced. Because again, where you are right now, it's happening, but it doesn't feel in balance. It's not moving in the tempo that it's supposed to move or that it is able to move that's why that's also why god is taking you grabbing you or taking you in love and care again and replacing you somewhere else where this can just happen as it's supposed to happen in the tempo in this accelerated tempo that it's supposed to happen now with the magician also, you asked for it, I heard. This is the magician in here. This is your own, your own prayer, your own wishes, your own intentions, your own choices that you have made. And with the hermit here also, this is, you can see this. I also feel that in here. There is... Especially with the hermit, it's the one that goes within for wisdom. It's the one that learns to reconnect with him or herself to find your inner truth, find your inner wisdom, find your inner guidance. This connection also, it's also in there. Coming back to yourself and coming back to into connection with something higher than yourself, with God, Source, Spirit, your guidance. It's all in here, so you can, you, you know this. You know that the disruption is a blessing. You are very, if, it, if it's not, then I, I'm here to confirm to you that you are very able, very capable of seeing this from that perspective. And where you are being moved into, this is this is a very, very big, strong mm, awakening here where you are moving to, moving into, moving through.
And then these light coats also strength on the bottom of the deck. Another major arcana. Guys, this is really big. This is something big. I'm going to keep on saying it. <laughs> this is a 180 turn also from, from your life in a sense. Two of Cups is also here with the Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. With the Emperor. Chariot. Can we have more? And then the Nine of Wands, you see? This is... Whatever is happening here is moving you out of a long karmic cycle. And the relocation is, in a sense, the ending of the cycle of the long karmic cycle. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, the Exhausted One, but the one that keeps on going, that have been doing, have, has been, have been doing, the one that has been doing so much work, the relocation, the disruption, whatever this is, is the ending of a long karmic cycle and the beginning of something Something different here. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Chariot, Magician, Temperance, Hermit, Strength. This is six major arcana with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is very, very big energy. So, again here also with these light codes, this message that that came in between before all this came out. The relocation. The sacred space where God, Source Spirit, is putting you, is relocating you. There is a free flow there of these light codes, these particles, these fractals of light that you are supposed to receive in its fullness. And where you are right now, you cannot receive this in its fullness. But there is so much... <clears throat> if I look here on the table... With all these majors, there's a lot, a lot of energy that is here. And we start off with Hagalas, with Uranus, the tower. Which is, a, which is also a strong energy. But it's this... How to say that? It's putting something in motion here. Hagalas is stepping in with this energy of freedom, liberation, invention, breaking free. I want, I want to break free. That energy. I, but strong. I want to break free from something that is really restricting me, that is constricting me. Something that doesn't work and something where you are using, you are using a lot of energy to get results and now life is saying enough we're gonna take you we're gonna grab you and we're gonna put you somewhere else where everything can work together in perfect harmony so you can end this cycle of the nine of wands the wounded warrior you can end the exhaustion and the working so hard and move into this, this is six majors, it's big, and move into, into your awakening here, into your next level awakening, this is, this new activation, these new downloads, this, whatever is supposed to happen here, it is supposed to happen. 
And it's very positive because you have, besides your six major arcanas, we have the Nine of Wands, which is your Wounded Warrior, which is the ending in this, this whole um, event, what is here on the table, is the ending of this. And besides your six major arcanas, you have the Two of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, which is a very, very positive energy. This is divine union, and this is wealth, prosperity, abundance, this is plenty. This is having more than enough. More than enough to share. There, this is having more than enough. Having everything you need. Don't, no need to worry about. About material needs. About resources. I hear this is your, you are being moved out of survival mode, I hear also here. So pile three. Whatever happens for you during this time that comes in, and carries the energy of disruption. Do your utmost best to embrace this. And to go with the flow. Ride this wave. Because it's... This is moving you into something very, very beautiful. Rebirth with the sun. And again, I hear you asked for this. You asked for this. And in a sense, this how this feels is you are somewhere in a situation where you it, it's so difficult to find your way out. And there is there is like a lot that is on your shoulders. This no, this energy, the nine of wands, so being so burdened by so many things, being exhausted, being tired of of everything don't don't knowing anymore what to do how to do it and now there is this this disruption that i was saying that there i lost my my uh, my my train of thoughts this disruption that in a sense um pushes you out of this situation spins you relocates you and then brings in all of what is here on the table with with the essence of this the sun with rebirth which is sorry for the light which is such a beautiful energy and this this disruption the hagalas is just the gateway in there what i also feel in here for anyone who feels like oh no i, I, I cannot take anything anymore I am already too much in this Nine of Wands exhaustion energy. I cannot take anything anymore that goes wrong. For anyone who feels this, don't worry. Please don't worry because this is really a blessing in disguise. It's really a blessing in disguise and it's... I, the only way out, I also hear. And there is nothing on the table here. Besides the disruption. Besides the Hagalas. That is of an energy of difficulty. Of struggle. Nothing. Nothing. This is what you asked for, but you are in this process. You have to stand in your courage and step through the fear that rises with this. And if you do so, there you have your rebirth. There you have what you are 
praying for what you have been praying for. And the only thing you have to do is do your utmost best to see the disruption as a blessing in disguise and to surrender into it. Step through your fear. The more you resist this, the longer you keep yourself in this energy. And this is not where you are supposed to be now. You are supposed to to be reborn into the sun, into your sunshine, and to, to, to switch around all these majors, all these major areas in your life. That's what you are supposed to do here, now. And that is exactly what, what your guidance, what the divine is offering you with this disruption. So surrender, step through your fear. Connect with your courage. Strength is also here. Stand in your strength. You got this. You've come so far already. You've done so much. So just step through. There is nothing to fear here. Really not. The fear is your mind <clears throat> trying to pull you into old programs and trying to make it a lot worse than it actually is. More than that, it's it's eluding your perception. It's untrue. This is a blessing. This is, an, this is a way out, out of all the, the whole mountain that you are in and that you have no idea how to, solve the, how to solve it all. Just by going with it, embrace the disruption here. Because, wow... So, so very beautiful energy, so very strong energy. Such a blessing. Such a big, big blessing here. I'm coming back here to the vision and I'm hearing changing forms. So there is also something in here about shape-shifting, changing forms. It's you changing form also, which might also include that you are actually changing your appearance, that your appearance naturally changes with these light codes, with these new downloads that are coming in. It might also be that you have also the resources in here to offer yourself the treats that you have been dreaming of. And I feel that's a strong message for someone here. There are certain things that you... This is for more than just someone. Certain things that you just wanted to offer to yourself, but you were unable to. And Spirit is coming through here with a big message of you will be able to offer yourself all the things that you couldn't give yourself. Because you didn't have the resources or because of whatever reason. You will be able to do so. 
and plenty again I hear. There is plenty. There is no need to worry wherever you are been moved into here. So a lot has been reshaped here, changing forms. And this is, this is as within, so without. And there is again a big message in here of surrender. Also surrender into these light codes, these fractals of light that want to download that want to merge with you, that want to reform you. Be open to that. Receive it. Because also that is a gift. It's a blessing. It's a divine shower. It's a divine shower and it's lifting you up. It's rising you up. So allow this. Don't resist whatever shows up for you here. Because it's... It's a big, big blessing. I hear, rise up into the kingdom of your most high awakened being. It's very difficult here to put any words on this energy pile tree, but there is there is a mix here of there are very very deep feelings coming through here which you're reading and so much feelings from this also the nine of wands i'm so sorry for the light the nine of wands here this This long karmic cycle with all these strong emotions and it's, I feel it in here, it's rising. <clears throat> it's coming to the surface. But it's, it's again this, I want to break free. I'm, I'm so done with it. I want to break free from anything that is feeling like this, feeling like battling and, and, Keep on going and and getting up to breathe and and being pushed down again, but so much raw, deep emotions that are coming through with this but it's it's a it's a release this it's it it wants to erupt this disruption is also erupting this out of you it's a, erupting it out of you the only thing for you is step through your fears because this situation is not like past situations it's not gonna gonna um how to say this this is leading you into something beautiful with the disruption itself. While before there was a lot of disruption that you had to work through and work through and work through and try to, to solve everything and try to find solutions for everything. And then you find a solution and there is another disruption. This one is different. It's a disruption that is leading you into something very beautiful, instantly. If you are able to surrender into the disruption here, step through your fear. 
you are being asked here to show up, to show up as the warrior that you are. Just show up. Which means you know from yourself, I got this. And you do. Just show up. If fear rises, surrender to God, Source, Spirit. And receive your blessing. Blessings. Receive your rebirth here. I want to pull one more for you. I really, really feel you here, Pile Tree. I just, again, this a lot of raw feelings that are coming through with this, but again, just if they rise, hold space for it, hold space for it, but don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you. This one is different. This is an ending of a very long karmic cycle. So trust. Trust in the blessing here. Soul writing. This is exactly, and you are the universe. And there's one more here, inward revolution. It's that the inward revolution is the, the fear, you know. And also everything you work through already, all this. Something's erupting, something's stirring up there. But the soul rising and you are the universe, you are so much, so, so supported here. And you have an authenticity, authentic truth. You are the universe is a message also from spirit coming through, reminding you of where you have been, what you have, what you have struggled through. And how you were able to find your light, to find yourself, to find your connection with God, Source, Spirit, to find that access to your inner wisdom, to learn to trust again in yourself. You are the universe, you are the light. Spirit is coming through. And just reminding you of that. Because you know that. Soul writing is coming to the... Is speaking to the disruption that is here. Your soul has been... Has written this script for you to smile. Your grandest smile. For your heart to smile. With pure. <clears throat> with pure joy. Pure bliss. So trust. My dear beautiful pile tree. Trust. And be amazed in a very, very positive way. And in a very major way.
Okay, my dear beautiful pile tree, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile four, I have a message for you. And for you, pile four, spirit of wolf is showing up here. And spirit of wolf is, in a sense, asking you to follow him. Follow him, follow her. And this feels like for some this is a specific message if you if you recently had an encounter with a wolf or a special moment with a wolf or in meditation that wolf spirit showed up for you he he she is asking you to follow him because the spirit of wolf want to, wants to show you something he wants to I'm saying he, okay, if it's she for you, but it feels in here like like he. Um, he wants to show you something, and the way he's showing up here is, is leading the way for you, in a sense, and asking you to follow. And if you go there with the spirit of wolf, in whatever feels right for you, I feel for most of you this is in the sense of meditation, sense of connection, or in a dream, maybe. The, the wolf is like leading, leading you onto a certain path, onto a certain direction, and he, he wants to show you something about an attachment that is not serving you here. And it's something... It's a blind spot in a sense for you and Wolf Spirit really wants to illuminate this for you because this is something that you, you perceive as, as being positive but there is something behind that is important for you to see. And the fact that it's coming through here with this attachment feels like you have a connection with whatever wolf wants to show you and there are some positive aspects in there but there is something underlying that is of an unhealthy nature and wolf really wants you to see this because it's not that whatever wolf uh, leads you to it's not um it doesn't mean that it's something you have to let go, but there is something to see in the way you are attached to that. And the invitation in here is to, to, to alchemize, to transform the attachment into a connection, if that is possible. For some, this might be that you have to let go of something although for most of you i really feel in here this is excuse me this is like a a reorganizing or a re um, there is a layer that needs to be removed a layer of the foundation that needs to be removed and that has to be replaced with something else because the layer that is there the layer of that foundation that is there is attachment and if this doesn't this is also it feels like this you are building something on this and it's 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 a blind spot so you are building something on this and it it feels positive but you are really been asked here to look at the roots at the foundation of this and to reorganize something there take something out transmute that alchemize that into a healthy connection instead of an attachment
and it's very very beautiful how how wolf is showing up here it's really this um I also feel for most of you, you have a very beautiful connection with Spirit of Wolf. If you don't feel that in this moment, then there is an invitation to connect with Spirit of Wolf. Because in this moment, and where you are with whatever this is, um, Wolf is your, is your guide in here. And the way he's showing up here, it's it's like you are going on a on a trail. It's it's a trail that you are supposed to walk. And he's so beautifully guiding you here. Very <clears throat> excuse me. Very, very respectful and very um there is a big sense of honor in here. Honor, respect, um beautiful guidance here very very beautiful guidance and very very alert also the way wolf is is showing itself and the way wolf is checking on you are you there are you following my steps do you see what i want to show you this is the spirit of wolf that is very strongly showing up for you here to to guide you in this moment so a big invitation from spirit to connect to wolf spirit which is a very very beautiful spirit to connect with in general but especially this one or also this one hmm. There is also a sense of loneliness in here and that's also, this is also something very beautiful about Spirit of Wolf. They, they take care of their, of their uh, tribe, um, the tribe, no, the wolf tribe. Um, I'm lost in the word, but yes, no, they take care of each other, they, they, The pact, the pack, the wolf pack. I got lost in that word. I needed to find it. They take care of each other. They don't leave anyone behind. But in here also, this is it's one wolf that is showing up for you. But there is this, I want to guide you. I want to show you something. But also the, like I say, the, the way that he is looking at you and checking in on you there is a big invitation in you also to share your feelings of loneliness with this spirit that is showing up for you here because if you feel lonely whenever we feel lonely it always it always means that we have forgotten what we are because if we remember what we are we always uh, the feeling of loneliness disappears and we feel all one which can be alone but we are never alone but there is no loneliness in in being home and being home with God or spirit but if you feel this loneliness this this the spirit of wolf is is so very near working with you here and the the um, He wants to, to carry you out of this loneliness. Hmm. Which can also be a link here with this attachment. Because attachment, if we are attached to some, to others, to other people, and these people fall away in a sense, then this can create loneliness because we have we have misplaced 
connection with attachment. We have put our happiness into something external. And when that external falls away, then you can feel lonely. But then if you feel lonely, and if you really go in there, and if you work with that, the loneliness brings you back to God's source spirit, where the loneliness disappears and becomes connection to God's source spirit. But again, this, this wolf spirit that is so very closely working with you here is inviting you also to share your feelings of loneliness with this spirit if you feel lonely. But there is a sense for some coming through in here. And also that is, is something that, that the spirit of wolf wants to to guide you through, to walk you through. Again, wolf spirit, it's a very, very beautiful spirit to, to work with. I worked a lot with wolf spirit and yeah, this is, it's something very, very personal, but it's just a very, very beautiful spirit. If you, if you are willing to open up all animal spirits, all spirits um, are beautiful to work with. But I also share a very personal connection with wolf. And Spirit of Wolf showed me a lot and helped me through a lot. Helped me to see a lot that I didn't see before. And I feel that also in here for you. This is an ally, a very close ally that is waiting for you to connect with him, with her. For your highest good. And a very, very loyal ally. You can always count on this spirit. Okay, what else is here? Because there is something else here with this Ten of Pentacles. Something with this, you are building something and you perceive it as, as being something very positive. So you perceive it as being the Ten of Pentacles. You don't see anything uh, wrong in there. And I'm, I'm going a little bit because the, the loneliness was specific here for some. But I'm going back here to Wolf Spirit also that wants to connect with you and show you something that you perceive as being something very positive. You perceive this as, as being the full ten, ten of Pentacles. And it also has the potential of being the Ten of Pentacles. But again, there is something underneath that needs to be seen and that Wolf Spirit wants to show you here. And it's important to, to alchemize this attachment that is here in the foundations of this on, in the foundation of this Ten of Pentacles, because otherwise your Ten of Pentacles um, won't last. Um, this is still a material energy, right? It's an energy of the physical world. I'm holding it here because here is too much light, but still, it's an energy of the physical world, of the 3D reality. And nothing in the 3D reality lasts. But if you change this foundation that is here, your um, Ten of Pentacles in the physical world 
will be a lot more solid but also what you are supposed to change here in the foundation of it will also have a consequence on your consciousness and if your consciousness changes into the consciousness of the ten of pentacles this is something that does last and this is also what wolf also what wolf wants to show you here What is this here? What is this foundation? The Tree of Pentacles with the Fool with the Hermit. Okay, so for some <clears throat> The foundation that wants to be alchemized, attachment into connection, has to do with someone you are working with. This is a cooperation with another person. Or with other people in general. And this has a quite new energy here. So this might be someone new that is joining a project or um, some new project that you started, but you are already building on this. But it's something new that, that has been integrated into this project something new a new aspect in a sense and with the hermit here let me clarify this one with the hermit coming through here because in the beginning i really got this feeling of this is a blind spot for you but your intuition has already spoken to you about this. There is a subtle nudge that your intuition already um, gave you about something. Or you had, during whatever this is, you had some kind of doubt about something. But then you put it on the back burner. Or you, you didn't go in there. But... Your intuition has been speaking to you about this. Let me clarify. And again, it's a collective reading. So this, whatever this is, it's going to play out differently for each and every one. But it, for all, it's something here about the foundation that needs to be seen. The magician. So for some, this is nine of cups. For some, this is about other people. For others, this is something within yourself that needs to be seen. A certain, a certain value, maybe, that needs to be looked at. A certain intention that wants to be seen. One more here. The hangman. Something with timing also here. Patience. Mm. Maybe trying to go too fast. Seven of Swords is also here. Some kind of illusion. Um, some kind of pain. Some kind of unhealed wound 
that manage to to sneak in whatever this is but again it it can play out for in in different ways here but all together wolf spirit is showing up here for you pile 4 and really wants to illuminate something for you that is important for you to see this is this is something for your highest good and if you follow the lead of wolf here then whatever you are building whatever you are doing here whatever you are creating if you follow the lead of wolf then whatever you are building or whatever you are creating will be of so much more value than it will be without the lead of wolf and without alchemizing this attachment into connection. Subconscious is also here. So again, this blind spot that is coming through here. There is a lot in here. There is also mm, flexibility that is in here. A sense of being able to... to be very yeah, flexible in a sense. To be able to move in a lot of different direction with, directions with a lot of ease. So whatever this is, it's, it's, it's a very positive thing. So, pile four. Your guidance here, what spirit wants to, to bring through for you here, is to follow the lead of wolf. Because he, he, she wants to show you something very important here. Something very important that is for your highest good. Um, that will be of benefit for you and for others also here. So you can choose to don't go in there and to just keep on building and creating what you are doing because it can feel like a step back. You have to go back to the foundation here to see something. So you can choose to don't do that. But then the, the creation, whatever you are building here, will be a lot less solid. It will be a lot less solid and this, if you don't look in there, then another situation will show up or this situation, something will show up that offers you another opportunity to look or to see what Wolf wants to show you in this moment. So if you don't choose to go in there, it will show up again in the future in a different form with the same essence for you to look at because it's really, it's important for you to see this. And again, Wolf such a beautiful loyal ally here so i would say follow its lead and open yourself up to to connect to if you never connect with spirit of wolf to open yourself up for a very beautiful very wonderful connection 
And if you are already connected to a wolf, to deepen and strengthen this connection with this wonderful creature. Okay, my dear beautiful pile four, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful. And I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one.